like something like, I don't know, maybe that won't work. I was thinking you could like have one up, you know, and then have the stack in front of it. Like it could be the whole stack like this, you know, and one like this. You know what I mean? These are great, Dan. Hey. 
dancing young boys I'm off to die in vain They hear death's constant whisper call Remember my name Said hey, hey, hey. Gather around the stone guitar if you didn't want to play. Kenny, go ahead and hang it up up there. There's a box. Mikey, will you show Kenny? Well, you know what? 
I, I, apparently this doesn't mean anything. <laughs> just sign in there. Because we've got really just a, a mirror on there. Yeah, well, why don't you, you get a book in there? It would be helpful. Yeah. Oh, cool. That's about all I can play. Are you going to bring your guitar and play? I was going to ask you Okay, well so then we'll let, oh, is it the other Okay, you could probably play it. Yeah. Okay, that's right. Okay, that's cool. I brought my stuff, but it's a drag it out. It's a civil lesson. There's a knock at your door Don't even recognize a stranger It's you from before Trying to warn you all about the dangers there's a hole in your head At least that's what everybody's guessing It's why you always be spread It's why you seem but you never feel rested You never get your rest and Hold on to your heart Hold it high above the waters Hold on to your heart Never let nobody take it under Hold on to your heart Even when your body is better Hold on to your heart Never let nobody take it over Ever take it over for you There's a call on the phone Number. It's an old episode Trying to put the lightning on the monster Of a life you once had That is always a mess Are you dreaming of death? Are the ghosts in your chest? You always so restless Yes you are Is that hard? Hold on to your heart
It's a trick stool there. You just, just yeah, don't let it pinch your ass. That's the only thing I worry about. Okay, a mirror. Okay. Uh, you know what? I can't hear you. Are you? Is it recording on the? Hello, hello. There we go. There we go. Uh, I'm going to be doing a few songs from my first mixtape, Atrocious Late Night Cinema Strosities. Uh The first song is called Red Rabbit. It goes, Little White Rabbit found a rape razor in the cabinet. It was shiny, so we grabbed it. It was shiny like magic. How fast he bled, now the rabbit's red, now the rabbit's dead. Now the rabbit's red, now the rabbit's dead. All right, brother. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Cat did the scratches. Little white rabbit laying on his mattress with a slashed wrist. Convinced his life is so tragic. Look into his eyes, you can see the sadness. It's been this way for years. Blood on his fur smeared. The rats make fun of his big ears. The birds sing songs till he gets tears. Even the other rabbit says a bit weird. Sometimes he wishes he could just hop inside a hat and disappear. Sometimes he wishes, but well, life ain't a fairy tale, is it? So when he cuts, he ain't scared to die. No razor blades, he just carries knives that slice through flesh like cherry pie. That night he cut himself very nice, deep enough to where he sighed. He felt the tingle in his whiskers, from his nose to his spine. He put the napkin to his wrist and it barely dried. Still wet with blood after the 18th time. He sat on his toilet with the blade in his thighs, staring at the laceration with pride. Even though he was waiting to die, he smiled to himself, and then he cried. Though it barely hurt, it felt like he had always loved. A dull little sting, like common drugs. He went cold from the loss of blood. Smoked another cigarette, crawled in the tub, and slit his neck. Two minutes left for he in his death. Skin cold and in his breath. He has a voice in his head, and it says, Little white rabbit should have stayed in his tunnel. But he hopped away and he stumbled in the wire. How fast he bled, now the rabbit's red, now the rabbit's dead, now the rabbit's red, now the rabbit's dead. That's the first one. Yeah. The second one uh, is called Corduroy. I was like, I remember the day I died. Damn, it was confusing, because I never knew I was supposed to be human. Just a cartoon with skin, doomed to pretend life was more than just an episode that would soon end. But that would soon end, cause death hangs around like a true friend. Whether you're shot down in cold blood or spoon fed poison from the plumed hands of decrepit witches, death always surprises you whenever it visits, especially if you're young and innocent. Like I was when I went, never did drugs, wasn't a thug in Flint, just an average kid walking home from school. Just started learning about isotopes and molecules. Had a new pair of J's and a fresh fade. Thought it was cool even though I followed the rules. Couldn't wait to get back to the crib. Play some video games and grab a snack from the fridge. That's when it happened. Yacht, yacht, yacht. Gunshots. Cars squirting. Two guys hop out of a black suburban. Waving pistols. People start dispersing. I try to run but my feet is hardly working. I look down and see my shirt's red. Damn, blood on my new J's. Damn, blood on my new J's. Four people were shot that day. The cops never caught them. They both got away. But I'm not surprised. Shit like that happens in Flint all the time. The city's falling apart because of the crime. And it's all by design. Nigga, you could die at any time. You, oh, you got a gun in your pocket? Ask yourself this question. Why do you have this handheld weapon? Are you stunting? Are you drugging? Are you bluffing? Niggas get to fussing over nothing. Niggas get on the bus and get to bussing. Niggas die every day. Ain't nobody fussing. The government's just chuckling. You're all just puppets to them. And me, I'm just a fucking statistic. You want realistic? This shit's horrific. This shit's apocalyptic. Lead in the water makes you want to get out and pick it. I died in 2016. And I die every year until the city gets clean. Yeah. That was the last one. Yeah. Starting with, uh, starting with, uh, 7.30. The first one is at 7.30.
Thank you so much. Yes. Thank you.
sunshine when she's gone. Is a superhero. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Alright, there we go. My life is a cool. superhero. And you can buy it at Lulu? You can buy right? it at Lulu. Okay, yes. cool. I'll give you a caption. Or uh, I, I'll be selling it at, uh, at the Good Beans. 
on, uh, on those nights that I do the good beans on the night. Okay, great. Okay. Every third Wednesday. Every third Wednesday. Seven to ten. Everything is a commercial. This is the opening poem. <laughs> this is the opening poem. Okay, go ahead. The legend continues. Face up in the grass he lies. And now he is running across the yard. And now he has passed over the yard, but he is still running. His arms like wands, his legs like arms cast up into the air. Clouds thin across into nothing as the sun grows white. The rubber tires of the brand new bicycle rotate red, rotate red and blue. The little girl squints in the sun. I just saw it, just now, she says. It was red and blue, it flickered, and then it just disappeared, and now it's gone. She catches her breath. It was right there, right there in front of me. She is panting. Her father walks over to her as she begins to cry. What's wrong, honey? He says, as she timidly glances up at him. Dad, do you believe in superheroes? She says as her eyes find his. Her father smiles. Sure I do, he says, as he bends over and cups her face in his strong hands. Sure I do. Yay! Born in Alabama, raised in Tennessee. They don't like my pizza, don't you shake my dream? Tell me how I must I wait? Can I get you now? Or must I hesitate? Well, I woke up this morning by my head fast for hesitation. Knocking on my door, tell me how long. Well, I'm not the doctor, I'm the doctor's son, but I can play the doctor till the doctor comes. Tell me how long. I'm sorry, I just asked Jay to do it. Whatever. Can I get you now? Must I hesitate? Well, I'm looking down the road as far as I can see. The man's got my woman and the fool's got me. Tell me how long. Well, can I get you now? Or must I hesitate? Well, I was born in Alabama, raised in Tennessee. You don't like my peaches, don't you shake my tree? Tell me how long must I wait? Well, can I get you now? Or must I hesitate? Doctor, I'm the doctor's son, but I can play the doctor. Tell the doctor, won't you tell me how long must I wait? Can I get you now? Or must I hesitate? Well, I was born in Alabama, raised in Tennessee. If you don't like my peaches, don't you shake my tree? Tell me how long must I wait? Can I get you now? Must I hesitate? Can I get you now? Must I hesitate? Alright, hesitation please. lost loved ones, with sirens in the background, and strobe lights to bathe the black and red, white and blue light, it's a sad, sad world, and it's only getting meaner, the streets of my city could use a redeemer to draw them back to their former glory, like, like a well-crafted work, perfected by a skilled artist, where each brushstroke is a pulse in my veins, each color is a passion untamed, a story unnamed, a body unmaimed, a man unslain, that's one more body that wasn't destroyed by a lad that's one more good man for a kid to call dad it's a sight for sore eyes 
who grow tired of the news of another 21 gun salutes for the fallen soldiers and the ghetto heroes. The homeless man in the stairwell and the dreams we wish farewell in God's peace as a people. We refuse to bleed for you. Because to lose a life in my city is only adding to the concoction of melodies from mothers mourning their sons. And these sanguine lines are prayer from the divine as another morning sun anoints another barren mother, a mother, another son. It's a new day, giving life to a new way of giving life back to the living, to the dead, I'm gone. And the streets won't bring them back. Can you believe that? Can you believe that this is all there is? Because that fact is something that I just can't see. So for those of you who understand, please explain it to me because Flint is more than just a city. It's a lifestyle and a way of thinking that I've been bred through before the rest of the world bled through. And where were you? When common sense lost its hold on the real world. Because to use an old cliche, common sense ain't so common today. Because if it was common, wouldn't need to be common, he'd probably be Kanye. And the throne he taught us to watch would have been his own. And Drake wouldn't have had to resort to writing across the poems, and he might have lived twice if that uncommon common yay had to lyrically ended his life. See, life isn't to be taken for granted. Though it was granted to us for free, see, when life is on the table, death comes to collect his fee, and that's just the norm for those of us who want to weather its storm. See, Cornell West said it best when he said that Flint was like New Orleans without the hurricane. So I want you to imagine the same thing that happened in the Lower Ninth Ward in your own backyard. Floods of people who've lost all hope for themselves be inextricably interwoven in this fabric that is tearing from within with women and children being attacked by a beast formerly known as men, but to be a man doesn't mean that you command or demand anything at any time. It means that you preside over your own lives in such a way that you don't have to portray yourself as something other than you are. It means that you the foundation to solidify the family around you and the luminary that enhances your wife's inner star. It's not who you are, but what you choose to be. And to see the differences in my history and those future mysteries is to see the delicacy between cause and effect. Because the words love, honor, and cherish should come with no regrets and no part-time clauses for a full-time job. Thank you, Flynn, I appreciate you. Yeah, I, I mean, there was a lot of sign-ups. Uh, we have, but... like, poetry books inside for sale. They're only $5 tonight. They're usually $10. And we host the Poetry Slam series right here in the city of Flint. We have some of the most amazing writers and poets come together. So one week from tonight, Friday, May 20th, at the Good Beans Cafe, it's 328 North Grand Traverse. It's right, across, right down from the hospital. We're having a Poetry Slam competition where we've invited artists from all over the country to come right here to the city of Flint perform. We're giving away 125 $5 cash prizes, we're going to have raffle tickets, it's probably going to be some food and really, really talented people. So if you'd like to support the city, you know, support the artists that we have here because they keep us going, you need tickets, come see me inside. My name is Ether the Poet and I appreciate you all and I thank you very much. You have a wonderful yeah. weekend. Uh, what? Ethan? Oh, uh, it's Ether Real. It's like E the Real. But Ether comes up like this. Hey, what's up, Flint, Michigan? Oh, what's yeah. left of it? Alright, I'm Matt D. I'm That's from Matt Flint. D. And, um,. For a moment, let us think about the land and put into words the feelings we know but don't fully understand. What is truly valuable? Not just in weight, but in virtue. When you got an empty stomach, nobody has to tell you. Fill in the soil with ideas that try to make the mind grow. Like a partially opened eye looking through a painted window. What we see isn't natural. Prescription direction. Operated health care less. The nutrition sickness brought to you by gangsters. Planning outlaw ownerships of barbed wire democracy. Welcome one and all to the mental prison theocracy. The hand that feeds is wearing a badge and a glove. When politicians laugh, it's never about love. To them, we're like animals afraid before the slaughter. Everybody's a victim when we're all just following orders. Don't cry about injustice with a voice full of pain. Unoccupy your fear and send hope down the drain. Make a plan for yourself and grow an attack because the earth won't be ours until we take the land back. Yeah. Woo!
Yeah. So yeah, that's uh, that's my signature piece. They will Going on. Later. Open too. the doors and kick all the tires. This is the kind of darkness that doesn't run away from fires. Inside, outside, you say to yourself, I am mine, and deep down you know you're just a part of a pacifist eye. In your own mind, making friends with every single waste of your time. It's not nature or nurture, it's making friends with a lie. <clears throat> the angel on your shoulder says, what you gonna need with all that pride? Crumpled up foreskin without any thought. At home with the cowardice you paid for and bought. A wasted life you're too afraid to measure. A list of accomplishments written down on toilet paper. <clears throat> Believe and react to everything you ever said but didn't do. At the end of the day, nobody made you a loser but you. Time to come back. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Face your feet. 